Realty Soaps and the first video in the Farmer's Market Collection. As you can see, I'm wearing my overalls so you guys know we're about to get farming. <laughs> I love the entire concept of growing something and then selling it in a local place with a lot of other sellers all sort of commonly connected with this mutual love of growing stuff. Like that's just beautiful. I think farmers markets are so, oh, they make me feel so good inside and they only come around in the springtime. So I thought this would be the perfect time to do this collection for March. Spring is just starting to come through. It's just starting to get a little bit warmer. Part of the proceeds from one of the soaps this month is actually going to go to a special charity for honeybees. We also have a birthstone soap for March's birthstone, which is aquamarine, and that's a really cool soap. And we have a few specialty soaps that we're only gonna be making a very, very small amount of. They're super detailed, and oh my gosh, I love them so much. And right now I'm gonna show you guys my Pinterest board, kind of highlighting all of the things that made me feel springy and inspired me for this collection. So you'll see there's lavender and there's farm fresh peaches in the back of a peach truck and there's sprouts and all sorts of healthy fruits and vegetables. It's a whole vibe. It's a whole mood. Also for this collection, I designed a signature soap, a soap that just embodies the whole thing. That's today's video. I wanted to start off with a bang, start off with the original the farmer's market soap. It's a cube soap or a mosaic soap and it has lots of interesting colors in it. I'm so excited. So without further ado, let's make our soap today. We are working with significantly less oil today because a good bit of our soap has already been made. We have to use the ugly container because I have to be able to mix in all of those soap cubes evenly and I didn't want the container to be so deep that I'm like scooping it out. So I'm gonna start Start by pouring my lye water solution into my oils. And then before I mix it, I'm gonna add some spinach powder and some new leaf green mica from Mad Micas and a little bit of apricot seed powder for light exfoliation. And then I am going to blend this without blending it, honestly. I'm just trying to mix in a good majority of it before the soap comes to trace. going to be adding in an essential oil blend of lemon, Litsy Cubeba, and peppermint. It smells very uplifting, very fresh. And I'm going to begin by blending in the essential oils without turning the stick blender on. This essential oil blend makes the soap pretty darn runny, which is great for our purposes today. And with all of our essential oil blend incorporated, it's time to start adding our little soap cubes. Here are all of my soap cubes, and this is a very lovely, fresh color palette that is inspired by this photo. As you can see, there's a pop of purple in there, some red from the tomatoes, there's leafy greens. That particular photo is sort of the whole basis for this month's collection. I wanted it to just feel springy. I wanted it to feel delicious and fresh and, you know, crunchy carrots and sweeter vegetables, like just the whole kit and caboodle. Pea soup. <laughs> I think it might be time for a little shooka shooka. I thought I might add things slowly, but I just took the nest tea plunge. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that sound is so gross. Ew. <laughs> well, that's pretty well incorporated. I might have to mix it up a little bit more in our slab mold after this quick commercial break. Now this is gonna be a little bit ploppy, and that, my friends, is why we wear eye protection <laughs> and long sleeves and gloves. There are so many cubes. I know. I'm gonna scrapey scrapey my big container. Now just to make sure everybody's incorporated and there's not gonna be like one place where there's a ton of cubes and then another place where they've all sunk to the bottom, I'm gonna actually mix up the mold. It's runny enough that 
I can do this with ease. And I don't want to tap these down completely. I actually like seeing bits and pieces of the colors, but if there's a big one poking up like this guy right here, boop, boop, he's going back down in. However, I am not gonna tap this down on the ground because I know since it's so fluid, there's not any air bubbles in it. And I don't want all of these nice floating soaps to sink to the bottom. And that's basically it for our signature farmer's market soap. It's a really easy make, but all of the time that it takes to compile the colors, chop the embeds, that's that's where a good majority of our time for this soap is going. So short video, but a, lot, a little bit more time intensive actually than some of our other designs just because there's so many embeds that have to be made for it. All right, I'm gonna spritz the top with rubbing alcohol and she's done. We're gonna let the farmer's market soap sit and then we'll come back and take a look at the fresh and delicious inside after this quick commercial break, of course. You guys, I'm so, so excited to cut this soap. Look at that on the side, it's beautiful. It reminds me of heirloom carrots. So I've lined it up with my multi-bar cutter and I actually get to stand the soap right side up for this one because there's no decorations on the top that could cause any problems. <laughs> Moment of truth. This is what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> I love it. It's perfect. Now something to note is that I had to put in different amounts of the chopped soap. So I don't have as many purple and red in there as I do of the yellow and the greens because I wanted those to just be little pops of color here and there. I feel like if I had a lot of purple and green, it might be visually confusing. Also, I just have to brag on Nurture Soap a little bit because this is their new trial by fire red that's what we used for these red embeds and they do not bleed like at all this is heavily pigmented we really wanted to make sure it was a true red and even so no bleeding the question of the day is have you ever been to a farmer's market i know that in a lot of european countries that's like a very common thing like that's where people go get their weekly produce from but here in america and especially in texas that's a lot less common in fact i've only been to two or three but they are are more common in the country and if you have one close to you it's worth you checking out because not only do you get to eat local fresh produce you also get to support small businesses to vote on the question of the day all you have to do is click the i in the upper right hand corner of the screen i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i love this soap and it smells so good it's been curing in here for a while but it's just so invigorating, it's so fresh. And if you like essential oils, this is definitely gonna be the bar for you. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. We've been sharing a lot over on our Instagram if you're interested in following us over there. Y'all, I, I have been posting a lot. I am so proud of myself. That was like one of my New Year's resolutions to get more pictures and behind the scenes available for you guys' uh, viewing pleasure. So. So that's over there if you want to follow us over there and if not that's cool too be sure you do something fun for yourself today whether that is researching your own flower garden I'm not gonna say anything more about it because I talk about this later on in the series but sister may or may not be starting a new hobby this month or maybe making yourself a healthy meal full of fruits and vegetables that's a little harder to do because it's still a little chilly outside but hey that's what Whole Foods is for right all those fresh fruits and veggies either way do you something that makes you happy and I will see you guys on Saturday and until then bye for now yeah